this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening! Let's continue through the ang- Whoa! The Angler's Tunnel, without uh, grabbing that Guardian Acorn. Can I avoid the Guardian Acorn? Yes, I can. Sometimes it's kind of hard to do that, but not today. There we go. You know, this is an Angler's Tunnel. You'd think there'd be, I don't know, fish around here? I mean, an angler is a kind of fish, right? An angler fish, or whatever the name is for it. But I do get a piece of power here instead. All right. Didn't I have a piece of power in the last episode? I mean, how did I? I must have taken hits, I guess, but I don't recall losing it. Well, uh, I guess it's, uh, what is it? Selective memory, or wherever you only remember the things you want to remember? Eh. Okay, so anyway, in this room, remember the glint of the tile from the other room? Well, here's what you're not supposed to do. Oh. Huh. Let me try this. Okay, you see how I used the rock's feather to jump around? That doesn't work. What you have to do is you have to have the, uh, what is it? The, the flippers in order to get through this part of the puzzle, because you can only walk onto the tile to trigger the glint of the tile. You can't uh, jump onto it to get that last one there. So, yeah, that's a little tricky there on their part, but that's okay. Whoa, watch out for that guy. I want to get my Pegasus boots ready. I wonder if I can dash up ladders. I would imagine not. Okay, this part's a little tricky. Come on, get over there! Damn it. Damn it! No! Ugh! Ugh! This is not that... I'm going to lose my piece of power. Come on. There we go. I don't know why that was so hard for me, viewers. Well, I guess it'll make life more interesting with the Nightmare's Key. All right. There we go. Now, I could jump up to the boss's room over there with the Pegasus boots and the Rock's Feather, but I don't want it. Ow. Wasn't there a... Uh... Ha-ha! There we go. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I was going to say, wasn't there a... What, you, what is that thing? A heart with wings? Or whatever it is? I don't know. I was going to say, wasn't there one of those around here? Or a fairy? Or something. Okay, well now we're in pretty good shape. Oh, there's all the fish. I was wondering where they went. How come I didn't lose my piece of power? I thought you lose it after three hits. Maybe the blue tunic changes that. Huh. Wow, that makes a piece of power even better than it was before. All right. Okay, so uh, it's not boss time. Oh, maybe the boss is down here. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I actually do want to lose my piece of power. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's make this boss take more than 10 seconds. There we go. Okay, there we go. Where's the boss around here? Whoa, holy crap! It's... It's the Codfather! The leader of all the fish around here. Ha! You gotta hit that antenna on his head. Now, the easy way of dealing with it is just getting right above and below it, and he'll just... Well, die. Whoa. Well, that was easy, even without the piece of power. And the Rock's Feather lets you jump higher or faster in water to get out of there, so... Hooray! And for defeating him, we get the Surf Heart. Dude! Well, that didn't sound like the Battle of the Windfish at all. What gives, game? Maybe it's part of the harmony. Eh, whatever. Alright, well let's put our new flippers to use. And, uh, let's get out our ocarina for, for this part. Let's head on over here to this cave. Yeah, we got a lot of sea areas that we can explore now. Manbo, is this a, a reference to something? Uh, I, if so, I don't get it. But yeah, I got an ocarina. Hey, hey, all right, a fish song. What is this, like a Beach Boys song or something? I'm probably way off. I have no idea. I know I've heard this song before, but 
Eh, whatever. I just like the thing Manbo does with his eyes. Alright, we learned Manbo's Manbo. Alright. Sure, I'll put it to use. Uh, not right now, but eventually. Soon enough, viewers. Okay, so that's everything we can do there. Um, I'll explain how uh, Manbo's song works later. I don't want to play it right now because, well, you, you, you know why, viewers. You know why. I really do not remember those waterfalls being that loud. Eh. I'm in a whatever mood today, you know? What's in this cave? Well, there's nothing in here. What the hell? Ha ha! But we do find piece of heart number eight. Uh, you have to uh, dive underwater, but uh, apparently I was right on top of it already. Alright, there we go. Now, we are invincible! Or, well... More. Oh, you can't get over there. Nuts. Okay, well now let's see. Huh. I thought something was supposed to be happening by now. Huh, maybe I was thinking of something else. Usually, the event that's supposed to be happening has happened by now. Huh, maybe it's different in this version of the game. I forget. Whoa, stay away from me. Now, you want to go into the moat here. We, this is Candlelight Castle, by the way, just so you know. We want to head over here, because there's a secret item that I can get here. Now that I have the flippers. Uh, game? Am I going to be able to move on? Ah, oh, there it is. Whoa, holy crap. It's a ghost following me. Stay away from me. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can do this. Dive under here for heart piece number nine. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to find that one, but let's see. No, I can't play it. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to uh, swim my way back out. Hey, stay away from me. Stay away from Link. Whoa. Looks like that ghost is going to be following me for a while. What did I ever do to you? Hey, wait a minute. There was that gravestone that I kind of desecrated with the uh, magic powder. Well, come on, man! I don't know if you have to do that, though, in order to trigger this event. I don't think you do. But, for some reason, I think it, they're related. Well, that's the way it is. Okay, we made it out of there. Um... N no, no, I, I still don't want to play Mambo's Mambo. Well, I'll just tell you. It, it, when you play it, it warps you to Mambo's, or Mambo's Pond, which is right next to uh, Crazy Tracy's. So that's another way you can warp around in the game. But instead, I want to stay over here for a little while because, well, there's some other items that I can get over here. Whoa, hey. Does that ghost say anything? No, I guess not. I have no idea how we're supposed to know what to do with that guy. Huh. Well, I know what to do, but I don't know how you're supposed to know. Now that we got the flippers, we can go over here. There we go. Ha! And we get secret seashell, number 19. Always hit that bush from above, or else it'll fall into the water. I mean, I, I, would, I would guess it would respawn if you screwed it up somehow, but, uh, you know, just don't do that. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be able to use a screen warping glitch now. But they fixed it in this version of the game, I'm afraid. Oh well, we can take the long way. Whoa. Hey, can you, like, I don't know, attack enemies or possess them and then kill them? No. Okay, well, I gotta go through that cave down. Or do I? No, I don't need to go through that cave. I can just swim over there. And hey, there's a mermaid. Hey, how's it going? Oh, well that's no good. Maybe you shouldn't wear a necklace while you're swimming next time. Oh, sounds kinky. Now, no, just kidding, viewers. Although I do have the Zora tunic. I'm going to call this the Zora tunic because I like Zoras. Zoras are cool. Well, so are the Gorons. They're cool too. Huh? Oh, it's the ghost. House at the bay. Hmm. Okay, well... See what I can do for you? Can't you find your own way over there? 
Eh, whatever. Whoa! Ow. Haha! -ha! And under this bush we get the final secret seashell! Number 20! But what will I get for collecting all 20 secret seashells? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. I'm just going to hide in here for a while. <laughs>